on the channel planet with maserati i'm going to be doing the daily scripture writing for july 21st and it's going to be ephesians 6 13 through 15 so before i begin welcome please subscribe hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos please give it a big thumbs up leave a comment and share the video that'd be great we appreciate it so with that being said let's begin um one thing let me know if because I have my fan on, but it's not on the desk. So hopefully you don't really hear it. Because um, it gets really extremely hot in here. So like when it's hot, I don't film. And yeah, so this room gets really hot. And I just want to like keep the fan on so that the room circulates whatever. You know, it circulates in the room. And I just want to make sure that it's not noise bothering to you. So with that being said, let's begin. So for the month of July, we read, write, pray, and reflect on the word, um, on seeking the truth, not just the word, seeking the truth. Um, soap study, scripture, observation, application, and prayer. We all know that the highlighting, unless you're new here, welcome, is the soap study that was done. So I don't know why I just don't put soap and then put done. That would, you know, but I put it reverse. So let me just put an arrow here and an arrow here. So you know that the word done is for the soap study. As we flip over, so today is the 21st. It's technically the 22nd. I will be filming the 22nd as well today. It's pretty early. It's um, 6. It's not that early. Oh, no, not that. Okay, so 6.58 tonight. Tonight. Oh, my God, like you know that. So 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, and 8 o'clock, it's going to rain. What other time is going to rain? Let's see. I was you went backwards. Okay, so. Right now it's saying it's 79 in Chicago. But it's 85 the high, 67 the low. <coughs> I'm trying to look at the rain. Okay, so 6, 7, and 8 is going to rain. It looks like a little thunder too. On 6, 7, and 8. Right now it's 6 o'clock and I really don't see anything but birds. So I can't really say it's going to rain. Because... I think my watch is lying to me. Okay, so today is technically the 21st. It's not. Um, so with me, okay, I'm going to do it the way I usually do it. If I were to say, hey, this is the day we're on and this is what we're using. But there's two ways of doing this one, okay? Because I messed up here. This is the big one. So this would be 15 through 19 and then 20 through 22. So... I am here. The truth shall make you free. Now, okay, I would go the next time after the 22nd, the 23rd, I'll be in how do you find the truth. Okay. So if you followed one and two, you went to three. So you did three because we did three in months ago. I didn't realize that until I got to... I think it was number three or it was on two. And then I realized when I was doing something with the phone, it kept saying perfect trust, perfect trust, perfect trust. Make sure you finish your perfect trust. I wasn't on it at the time. And I was like, and it was in the beginning of the month. And I was like, wait, something's wrong. And I looked at it and yeah, and don't mind that a Halloween candle. I haven't put it away yet. Um, I'm thinking I'm putting it on my desk, but not for Halloween, just for the scent. Because the scent smells really good when you light it. I haven't lit it yet, but I think when you light it, it's going to smell good. It was $3 at Family Dollar. So, if you're, if you did this one, which is 10 to 19, you'd be here, which is Seeking God in the Psalms. I am already done with it. So, my highlighter colors are different. This is gold, this is orange, and so... You'd be here to the 24th. So me, I'm here. And then when you're done with your 24th, you you jump into the truth to make you, shall make you free. So you would do one through five if you're working on this one. If not, again, you see the arrow goes to six. You're doing three goes to six. Jump back up to four, five, and seven. That's how I did it. Okay. Whew, I haven't did my soap study for a couple days already. So let's get into 21, I believe. Yeah, so see, I haven't did soap study. So Ephesians 6, 13 through 15. 
All right, let's bring this one in. I like this one because of the small little columns, but I need like the bigger print. That's why it's longer. But I like this one because of the small little columns. It's easier to put your finger over it and keep going. Because so, for some reason, I've been messing up a lot. So Ephesians 6, 13 through 15. So we're going to start down here, read the bottom of here, and then go all the way up to it ends. See, it's hard to see. It ends right here where it says peace. Okay, so let's go ahead and read. It says, therefore... Put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And if, and after you have done everything to stand. Stand firm, then with the belt of truth buckle, buckled around your waist. With the breastplate, ugh, breastplate of righteousness in place. You know, I, when I was younger, I thought that was, like, really, you have to have a belt. Uh, never mind. So, <laughs> that was just weird. And with your feet fitted with the reedy, reedy Maserati readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Let's read that again, because Maserati got jokes today. Okay, so therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Yes, a child, you never really know, like, what it really means, I guess. Because I was in the mission outs, and I was doing all of that, but I was there. I was doing the projects that they had. Um, we were reading the Bible as we were there. Um, I did, when I got older, um, I would say a little bit more into like the 16, 17, I was still in high school. I was going to a church that, you know, the bus comes to pick you up. It's in a different neighborhood. It's still in Chicago. I don't know if they're still there or not. And you um, go on Wednesdays, because Sunday I would go across the street to church. The church that we went to was across the street, so you, like you didn't have to walk a block. You just walk across the street, literally. You go to the candy store, get your candy, and go to right across the way from each other. And then you would go to church. And then when you get out of church, you go back to the candy store, and um, they used to sell subs. And that's where I would get like my sub sandwiches, and as a child, you know, when I had my allowance or whatever, that's what I would do. So, as I got older, like I was saying, I was like 16, 17. When I was a missionette, I was like 8, eight 9, maybe even 10. But as And then I didn't go to church. And then, again, like 16, maybe maybe 14 to 16, we went to the um, Wednesday church over, you know, in another neighborhood. They would come pick you up on a bus. And we would have, you know, our own Bibles and all that, of course. And it was like, kind of like, not Bible study, but it was like if the pastor is preaching. So I really didn't understand the Bible until I got into scripture writing. That is when I really, you know started my faith even more. I went back in my 20s when I had my daughter and I because my mom would go to church as a missionette my mother didn't go to church. She went when she was younger and then when she had kids she didn't go and so as I got older my mom started going to church making sure I'm in the right spot okay what am I just doing right now? Okay. 
So I'm going to put verse like this and then 14. I was like, what am I drawing here? So when she decided to go to church, I had my daughter. And she was like maybe three months old, six months old. I started taking my daughter Jacqueline to church, which is Jackie on YouTube. Um, and then we just stopped going after a while. When she was an adult, I took her back. Okay, so when she went to high school, I took her back to church. And then after that, we just stopped going. And then, in the meantime, Jackie, my daughter, was starting YouTube. And she's like, oh, I'm going to start doing a YouTube channel. And you're, you know, you get paid once you hit, you know, a certain amount. She goes, why don't you start? She was doing it before me. And so then, I think it was my birthday, and she was giving me, like, stuff, you know, for my birthday. And, um, why did I put prefix? I was about to put prefix. And, um, sorry, I'm talking as I go, and I'm, like, trying to see the words that I'm not about to say, but trying to write. Okay, so she bought me some birthday gifts, and then... She's like, why don't you start your own channel? So I thought about it, and then I was like, well, I'm not going to show myself. Because, you know, I'm not camera. I'm not really into the camera. Now that I do TikTok, yeah, I do a little, you know, playing around or whatever. But I'm not really into, like, taking pictures and all of that. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just do something with my hands. And I was into planning. And then she got into planning because of me. So I was like, okay, let me start. And so my channel started, you know, growing. And then I started watching YouTube because I always thought you had to pay for it. Even, you know, before I got into YouTube, I was like, man, you got to pay for YouTube. I'm not paying for it. And then I realized, no, Maserati, you don't have to pay for YouTube. It's an app. I mean, there's things you can pay for on YouTube, but it's not that. So then I decided to start looking up scripture writing. Because I've seen videos of people saying how they're scripture writing. And I was like, oh, that's cool. You know, I want to read the Bible. And I love to write. And I would love to write out scripture. And so that's how I got started. So I guess that would be my testimony. Like, maybe in a long, short version of 12 minutes. <laughs> But yeah, so that is, you know, how I started scripture writing is by, because people say, like, I just got a comment the other day, and it's not a bad comment, it was a great comment, and they were asking, you know, because it's in the middle of the month, right, so we're almost at the end, they're asking, should I just wait, or should I start? I said, start, because, you know, if you try to go back and try to do, like, how I do, I can do, you know multiple days at a time and you're not really absorbing everything like you should you know you shouldn't be really doing that I was like just start like don't wait just start and that's to anybody that wants to do scripture writing just because there's a plan in place doesn't mean you have to wait to the following month to start on the first okay so why wait if you can get scripture and read scripture you're reading the scripture you're writing the scripture you're absorbing it and hopefully you're getting something from it so the 22nd is 1 timothy three fifteen. so i would say to start right away regardless if you're months behind i mean not months behind i'm sorry you know like your days behind just continue start just start that day if you're, you feel led to start, then start. That's how I feel. Like, don't wait until the next month comes around and then you're like, you're busy and then something happens and then you don't have time to do it. I would just say, take a few minutes out of the day. This took me 14 because I talk, I'm introducing the channel, things like that. And I'm writing, reading, all of that. So if I were to do this on my own without, you know, filming... It would be a different story. It wouldn't take me 14, 15 minutes. So, and if you're absorbing it and you want to reread it and reread it, reread it, you could do observation, application, and prayer. 
Or you can just read it and start taking notes. You know, like what you read or whatever. You know, underline stuff. You know, circle stuff. Highlight stuff that stands out to you. That is what, you know, I think we should be doing. But I don't do it so that you guys could see it. And then, um, yeah. Or do it in your Bible. Just start underlining like certain things people say. Like underline what God says in a certain color or, you know, whatever. So like here I put God's grace and I underlined it. I didn't, I didn't put the date or whatever. Because I like to put dates so I know when I was in here. And then like here, just to give you an example. Here's where I put a date. 12-2-22. And this is, and again, 6 1 for it by, For it is by grace. So whatever we were focused on, I didn't write it. I didn't underline it. And so, but I did highlight it. And then here again. So here it's peace. Um, oh my gosh, my friend. What day? Um, 12-19. 2022 one is patience and I underlined it and one is peace what I do with peace I highlighted it so I underlined the I mean I put a square around the patience because it said patient and then for here where it says peace I just highlighted the, the verse to keep the unity of united unity of the spirit through the bond of peace and then here, patience was in 10. This is why I like writing it. But I should write a little bit bigger. 10-4, um, 2022. And then if you keep going, you'll see like more. I underlined here. I wrote here up on top, patient. I forgot to show you that. And then, like if you see me underlining this, is because we're doing the scripture. So I'll underline it so I know. Here I put created to, okay, so I underlined, created to be like God, true, righteous, and holiness. But see, I didn't write where it's from. And then, there's like a lot in here that I did. But if that helps you, please leave a comment below. But like I said, at any point in time, I would just start. Don't wait. Because tomorrow's never promised. Today we're here. Tomorrow we might not be. And if you feel lead, if feel lead, if you feel led to scripture reading, I would just start, and that's what I did that day. I just started. I was watching them, and I kept watching videos to see, like, what do they do? How do they do it? Like, what do they, you know, what do they do with the scripture? And then they were breaking it down in soap studies. I was watching like different videos, and this is what led me to scripture reading, and that's where it led. I was like, okay, well, I have my planning channel. I'll in, you know, I'll put it in the planning channel. But I think I want to and then it was like probably a year later. I'm like, I think I want to do my own channel for just scripture writing and I fall off of it. I did it. I started it. I started working on it. I did it again this year and then I fall off. So I'm going to go back to that channel. But today we are here June 21st, which is the 22nd. Ephesians 6:13-15. And again, if you felt led to today in your heart to scripture write, just scripture write. I write, I talk with my hands. I can put it down, but I do talk with my hands. So if you feel led to scripture writing, start, just start. Make time in your day, every day, and then just start writing. Read and then write and pray and reflect. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you in the next video. I hope this video helps you. And if anyone else has any questions or anything, just let me know in the comments below and I will be glad to answer them. If I don't see your comments because of YouTube hides comments and they put them in these little sections saying hold for review and this. And if you don't go into that hold for review, you don't know it's there. Just know when I go to look at all my stuff for YouTube, I do look there and I pull out comments. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye bye.